The Peterson Museum in Los Angeles houses a priceless collection of the world's most unique and historic automobiles. Three stories below the museum, safely inside the world's largest automotive vault, lies an even more amazing collection of vehicles. For the first time, we will pry open the vault door and examine these incomparable treasures. Courtney Hansen will be our tour guide through automotive history on Tales from the Vault. This is a hot rod, and not just any hot rod. The Sniper is a vehicle whose innovative design set the trend for modern hot rod fabrication. It was the 1999 Street Rod of the Year, the Good Guys Custom Rod of the Year, and it won the Alexander Brothers Award of Excellence. The Sniper became part of the museum collection because it perfectly illustrates a transition between the old school hot rods and the modern custom car. It's based on the ultra modern V10 Viper mechanicals. There's, there's virtually nothing that's 1954 Plymouth about it, uh, other than the overall shape and, and the exterior sheet metal. It even used Mercedes-Benz headlights. But that's the genius of Chip Foos, embodying all these little details in a, in a car and making them all work, and also making the car perform as good as it looks. <laughs> It's not just a, a trailer queen. It can get out there on the street and, and lay some pretty good rubber if you want it to. Looking at the sniper now, the art of creating a hot rod has come a very long way. The Sniper began as a plain Jane 1954 Plymouth Belvedere Savoy convertible. The choice of the Plymouth was the first of many adventurous choices that set this hot rod apart. The designer was Chip Foos, the builder Troy Trepanier. After cutting his teeth at the legendary Boyd Coddington hot rod shop, Chip Foos has gone on to become one of America's premier car builders. His designs are featured on Velocity TV's Overhaulin. Troy founded Rad Rides with his father in 1995. It has grown to be one of America's top custom automotive shops. Troy has worked with Ford, GM, Chrysler, and Toyota. He has built Rad Rides for celebrities in both the worlds of sports and entertainment. Chip's decision to meld the Savoy body onto a Viper chassis was made possible when Tom Gale, Chrysler's chief of design, donated the Viper Coupe. Savoy plus Viper equals Sniper. It was not a simple process though. A new roof and roof pillars had to be fabricated from scratch. The deck lid was lengthened by 14 inches. The doors were shaved, the wheel wells reshaped, and Mercedes-Benz headlights were added. Even the Viper chassis was customized. It was narrowed by 10 inches front and rear. The addition of four-wheel disc brakes became a necessity to stop the 488 cubic inch, 450 horsepower Viper V10 engine, and a heavy-duty six-speed Borg Warner manual transmission was chosen to shift the heavy load. Because the body started out as a convertible, it had to be made more rigid to handle the 500 foot-pounds of torque put out by the big V10. The body was attached to the frame by 14 custom body mounting points to accommodate the added stress. The exterior paint was another bold choice. In the past, hot rods tended to be either fire engine red or flat black. The Sniper was painted the unusual combination of deep moss green and Spanish olive green, making the Sniper unique. The deep luster of the beautiful paintwork looks like it would glow in the dark. There was no skimping on the interior either. It received modified Recaro seats and olive green leather. Suede and carbon fiber encase the custom dashboard with Viper gauges. The wheels are 18-inch Boyd Coddington Aluminum Customs up front and 20s in the rear. 
It was only fitting that the sniper was unveiled at Peterson Publishing's 50th anniversary for Hot Rod Magazine at SEMA. After being sold at Barrett-Jackson for $162,000 in 2002, it was eventually added to the Peterson Collection. When asked which car the vault workers would say first in case of a disaster, they unanimously replied, the sniper. For the Peterson Automotive Museum, I'm Courtney Hansen. Join us again next time for more Tales from the Vaults.